Hey, how's it going? So, I'm gonna show you how to beat... Like, this is one variant of me beating Jax. This guy is Diamond. I think he's almost Master Tier. Like, he's like... High, very high MMR. Guy. Right? Okay, so what are we? what's the strategy against Jax? He outscales you, so you wanna win the game as fast as possible. Right? The advantages you have is... He has no healing... So you always can trade with him favorably. Because he's gonna... Okay. So his two main weaknesses... I'd say three. Three main weaknesses. No healing. Mana issues. And he cannot deal with super minions. At all. You will see in this case, right? Okay. So how do we... So to abuse him is you have to trade with him consistently so he spends mana you need to build defensive you need to build slightly offensive and slightly defensive i'll show you the build right like why do you want to build slightly defensive because for him to deal damage to you he has to use mana and when he runs out of mana he has no ability to kill you and no ability to clear minions at all. If he goes home, he can't even clear cannon minions effectively. He's just so bad at clearing minion waves, right? Which means he's gonna you're gonna swamp him with minions basically. Now another advantage you have over him is Hall Breaker hard counters Jack pretty much, right? Because you get both resistances against him, you get health, you get damage, and you get buffed minions that he cannot deal with. All right. Okay. So, what's the strategy? The strategy is to win the game as fast as possible. As you need to take this inhibitor as fast as possible, right? Because he will lose to super minions. All right. And then you want to steal all of this stuff, all of those relics, right? You want to steal them as much as you can. Because this denies him health and mana. Even if on full health you still want to take it first. Because the first person who takes this relic gets a lot of mana. You want to make sure he is on all the time. Alright. So in early game you're going to kill him multiple times. As soon as you do you have to take the turret. You have to take the turret. Right. I'm running I'd say slightly incorrect runes. Because I need to, Like I would... In a full game, in a full game, I would prop. I'm gonna go and replace, uh, revitalize, with um, demolish, because these two demolish hard counters jacks, and hard counters nasus, like it just destroys the scaling champions uh, automatically, right? Because they simply will not have time to scale. Because you have to remember, like, percentage damage, shite like, whatever, work, only works on champions. There is fixed amount of damage that they can do to minions, and super minions have 4,000 health, and shitloads of regen, and shitloads of armor. So, their Bork, their items, will not work on super minions. I think even Vayne cannot... Uh, do percentage damage to minions. There's like cap of 200. So imagine how many times she needs to proc her um, her passive, whatever, it's like 18% or 12% true damage because it only does 200 to super minions. So she's gonna get swamped. And Vayne has no ability to clear minions at all. Right? So this strategy also works against Vayne, but the problem with Vayne is uh, you want to probably kill her because she can chase you down, right? You can't escape Vayne. That's the problem. If she, like, ults, you're pretty much dead, right? So, but Jax, you can escape, so you want to buy boots, okay? Enough for the talk. Let's get to the action. So... Wait, where's the sound? Oh, it's very low, okay. 
So you fight him, you kill him. Now, immediately, immediately, go and take the turret. <coughs> So now, right, I went with this build here because um, this thing is ridiculously, it does, I, I don't know, it's just some kind of buff on it, but it does so much damage, it's insane. And it gives you ability haste, so you can spam auto E all the time on Jax. You can now trade him with just auto E, because he, you don't even need like crit fury to crit him, because he has no way to heal. Right, it's just his healing is just non-existent, basically, you see? And he spams mana all the time. And that's the problem. And he has cooldowns. You have to remember that Jax, without cooldowns, does whatever, what, 50 damage? Because when you W him, he does like 50 damage. I mean, it's not even gonna register. Right, so all of his damage comes from cooldowns. And before level 6, his only source of damage is W. So, I mean, as soon as he spams it, a W cooldown is quite long early game right it's like five seconds like so you, you can imagine you have a window of five seconds where he does he has no ability to do any damage at all so he's going to naturally jump into his minion wave again that's mana spending the, the more mana he spends the better it is for you you see like he just has no way to deal with you early game right i know jack's players are gonna be like yeah but this is dude this is not summoner's rift Right, it, 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 this ain't Summoner's Rift, dude. There is no jungler to help you. There is no feeding teammates. There is no dragon to give you free buffs, right? You are here against Trindamir, who is very angry that you have ability E and he wants to beat the shit out of you. And he will. Right, so all of that is bullshit because um, he's, he's losing levels, right? So now you have level advantage on him. One and a half, I'd say one and a half level advantage, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see, so you're almost level seven, he's barely level six. Okay, another critical, critical strategy. Critical, right? You want to slow push as much as you can. You want to build up like triple four minion waves and then kill him under the turret because then he's going to lose all of those minions. That will delay his leveling up. Do not kill him, do not, I repeat this, do not kill champions when, um, in a full game, I'm talking about full game, right? Do not kill champions when their minion wave is under your turret, do not do it. Because what happens is, you kill them, right? You have to push, you kill yourself, but they get the minions back, right? So that gold advantage on Aram for the kill... Honestly, it's not big of a deal. The whole thing is about minions. You need to manage minions. So, right? When he's, when his minion wave is in here, you want to harass him. Get him. Like, if you have opportunity to kill him, do not kill him under any circumstances, right? Get him low. I'm talking about one hit, two hits, whatever, right? Get him low enough so that when you crush the wave into his turret, okay? You gotta kill him, and he's gonna lose all the minions, and you're gonna damage his uh, turret significantly, right? So you see what's happening in here? I'm slowly, 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 slowly... I'm slowly, slowly, slowly pushing it, you see? As soon as he approaches, I smack him, but I'm not pushing the minion wave. Notice I don't spin through the minion wave at all, right? So you see, I slowly, slowly push... Now, okay, now he approaches, I, I'm gonna try to smack him. Okay, now I'm gonna clear heavily and kill him, basically. That's what I'm gonna do here. Okay. Right, he dies. Now, remember, if he attacks you in a triple minion wave, he will get shit loads of damage. I'm talking, you can imagine, like, he just got hit by, um, how many? 20 minions, including cannon. That is ridiculous damage. Right, okay, now you take the turret and you clear the minion waves as fast as possible. Okay. You wanna die. Make sure he doesn't get the kill. It's 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, if the turret kills you, he does not get the kill. Does not get the kill. Okay. 
So now we're going for Hole Breaker first. Because remember, Jax has no ability to deal with Super Minions. Now, the problem with Jax, I'll tell you the problem with Jax. If he goes mana build where he doesn't run out of mana, you can beat him in one on one. You're not afraid of him because his damage is too low. If he goes the traditional build, which is Bork and what you call that item, I forgot, Divine Thunder, I think it's called, right? He ha he will go on just trying to kill the super minions, right? So whichever build he goes, you always win, right? Again, you see, it feels, when you look at trades, it feels that he's winning the trades, right? Now, if he tries to take a turret, you wanna you wanna screw him over. You see, it, it appears that he is winning the trades, but you have to remember, I have infinite sustain and he doesn't, right? So, and he has limited mana pool. I have no mana at all, so I couldn't care less, right? So you see, boom, we smack him, right? You see, look at his mana and look at his health. I'm regening, he's not, right? Now he ulted because, also remember, Ed, as a Trinimir player, you control when he activates his ult. Because he has to ult at some point to survive your all-in and you just spin, spin out of it. It's like his ult is kind of, when you think about it, it's kind of not the best ability because I can control it. I, I, I control when he clicks the button, right? And if he doesn't click it, he dies. If he clicks it too late, it does. it's not very useful, right? If he clicks it too early, I just run away, right? So it's kind of like it's designed for team fighting, but not designed for one-on-one -on -one because I can just run away, right, from his ult. It's the same with Trundle. There are multiple champions that have overpowered ult. This new, um, what's his name? Kesante or whatever the hell his name. When he ults, dude, run away from him. And that's it. So, Trundle, Jax, um, Nasus, I'd say, also run away. Renekton, you can kind of fight him. Who else is like that? But, like, there are some champs that, I mean, they just have busted ults. So, don't fight them. And that's it. Same as Trindamir. Good example. When Trinda ults, run away. <clears throat> so now he dies. Now, do not waste time. You see, like, I didn't waste time. I knew he was dead. I went and went, uh, started pushing minions as fast as possible. Because also, another critical point, do not Q heal as a Trindamir when the enemy champion is dead. Because... Um, the lower your health, the more damage you do because of your passive, right? So when the enemy champion is dead, you want to push as fast as possible. Keep your health to bare minimum. I even get uh, attacked by turrets sometimes just to keep my health low. Because you're gonna like one hit minions basically uh, at low health. Because you, you, you're pushing like as fast as possible. Now you want to attack the turret basically. I would favor dying for some um, inhibitor damage, right? Yeah, so go. Uh, probably in here I would. Mm, what's the timer? 24. Yeah, uh, it was a good decision not to ult here. Yeah, because I'm gonna revive and now I can kill him basically with my ult. All of that is fine. All of that is fine. Yeah, you see? You see, he thought I'm gonna all in, but I just run away. Now I have Cold Breaker, so he's gonna go on. You'll see, you see? He's going on because he just can't deal with the minions. You see, because the cannon minion is so strong, he just cannot kill it without uh, spending mana, right? So you see, slowly, 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 we're gonna whittle him down. He dies, right? Now, now we need to hard push and take the inhibitor as fast as possible. Okay. All right, now go for turrets. You basically won the game here. You basically won the game. 
Okay, so now he's gonna run into problem where he's just constantly gonna be on. Now, I bought the shoes of Swifties, right, because of Borg. And Jax has 5 move speed faster than you, I think. It's like he has 350, you have 345. So you need to be able to run away from him. Otherwise, he's gonna all in you. At this point, he's stronger than you. At this point. Right, because his E cooldown is like 2 seconds or whatever. Right, so... It's very hard to beat Jax because of his ult. I mean, you want to basically harass him and make him go on and then just let super minions kill him, basically. That's it. So you see, I take the relics. If you look at what I'm doing right now, I immediately take the relics. Right? And then that's it. I just, I just let him spam his mana on super minions and let them stack up. Because super minions also empower super minions and you are empowering them with the hole breaker and super minions also empower mini minions so his ability to deal with this is non-existent Jax cannot deal with swarms of minion with, of super minions he just cannot do it the character is not designed for this you see the problem he's just just that he just cannot deal with minions you see now we have two super minions right and he still hasn't killed the first one yet right you see the the it's stacking up. The minions are starting to stack up, right? And they just keep coming. Now he's on. His resources are depleted. He's he's done for. Like he is done for, right? I wanted to see if there was a relic. That's my mistake. So you see? You see the problem. Look at my look at my like I have two super minions full health and he's almost zero mana, right? What like what what's he gonna do? At this stage, it's game over for him. All I'm doing is just running away and waiting for super minions and just attacking his infrastructure. And he has no no way to deal with this. Absolutely no way. You see? And you, you have to remember, you have... Like, you have to also remember, once you take the inhibitor, you won the game because you have immortality. And you can slow push into him. Even if he kills you, so you can basically trade your ult for destroying his, how to say, for destroying his turrets, right? Now, why is that good? Because then you resurrect after 30 seconds, right? And he cannot sacrifice himself. Like, if he can, let's, let's just, let's just, uh, I'll show you, okay? Alright, so let's say, let's pretend, let's pretend. That he kills us in here. Okay, let's let's just pretend. You attack with ult, uh, you get it to half HP, whatever, right? And he kills you. He cannot, in the situation, go here and sacrifice himself. Just cannot do it. Why? Because then the super minions are gonna finish the game. And that's it. So now he is stuck with no mana, right? No mana barely any health and he cannot leave to pick up relics as well so you're gonna walk in this situation what you do is you walk you pick up all the relics and then you just start smacking his turrets and smacking his inhibitor right even if he kills you again you're still in a good position because you have to remember that these inhibs do not regain health right so and he at that point gonna have nothing left because they at that point he's gonna have so many super minions that they will clear his minion wave almost instantly and start attacking him so he has no way to kind of heal right because his all of his healing comes from blade of ruin king and that shit doesn't doesn't it doesn't heal that well against super minions but he has to focus on super minions because if he tries to heal through small minions because, like, for him to regain health, he has to attack small minions, right? But the problem with that is that by the time he clears the small minions, right, the another super minion is going to arrive, and then another one is going to arrive. And then he has to deal with four, and these guys are very strong. If he, you see there is three of them here, he is already lost, right? You do not underestimate the power of the minions, the, the super minions. are just too strong. Right now, the reason why I'm telling why people need to kill super minions first because super minions empower small minions. 
Does that make sense? Like for you to clear the minion wave as fast as possible, because I ran into this problem a lot when I was playing Nasus. I was like, Jesus, how do you clear super minions wave fast? And the way to do that is you need to kill the super minion, right? Like as Nasus, there is a technique. You basically smack with auto attacks, you attack small minions. Oh, no, 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 no. You always attack the super minion, but with your Q, you kill the su the small minions. That's how you do it with Nasus, right? But as a Trindamir, you have to kill the super minion first. Because he empowers the small minions, right? Honestly, to be honest with you, even as Trindamir, who is going damage... If at like 8 or 10 minutes you lost the inhibitor, you lost the game. Because the super minions early are just way too strong. And with Hullbreaker, they are undefeatable. And we're talking about Trindamir, who is high damage champion. Think about Jax, who is medium damage early game. Well, early to mid game, he's early, like medium damage. And he has to use mana. So it's not going to work for him. Right. Uh, so the only um, the only alteration I would say is I'd go with a demolish over revitalize. Okay, to summarize the strategy, we beat the shit of Jack's early game, and we clear. Our objective is to take the inhibitor as fast as possible. Then we buy Hullbreaker, make him go on. If he tries to all in us, we just run away. And we just smack him cons every once in a while while he is attacking the super minions. Right? And then we just slowly regen reg back. And then we hit him a couple of times, we run away, and let the minion wave stack. Well, I'll show you the strategy. Where is the... Yeah, in here. Look, you see? In here. Where is the... Yeah. So that's the basic strategy. Once you get to this point where you are summoning, you have your hole breaker and you have your... What you call it? The super minion, you want to buy Athena Chains. Athena Chains on this uh, is overpowered item, basically. Two of the most overpowered items on this map are Hole Breaker and Athena Chains. They're just completely broken. Like, if you play Trinder, well, Trinder or Trinder is a different matchup, but I mean, overall, they're just way too strong. Okay, so look, you see? We're denying him mana. We are not fighting him. We let him fight the minions. And we come over and we smack him a couple of times and we run away. Make him, make him use mana. You see? We heal back up. We ignite him. Whatever. Make him, make him expend resources. Right? You see? That's what we do. We don't kind of fight him directly. We just ma make the super minions fight him. And let him, like, spend resources. Because I don't mind. Like, I don't mind all this shit because I... Like, my super minions are getting stacked. His mana is running low. I can Q heal as much as I want. Right. We want to take the relics. All of that, as you see, like, everything he does is good for you because, okay, he runs around the map, he's not doing anything, he's not clearing minion waves, this is stacking your minion wave. That's bad for him. Right? He goes, he attacks you, same problem. Now he's getting hit by super minions, he's running, he's, like, spending mana, and he's not accomplishing objective. Because right now, for him to win the game... He, he cannot really attack you. Because he has to clear the super minions. But he cannot. You see? He just cannot do it. Right? And you see, him chasing you is a total waste of time. Because now, because he wasn't fighting the super minion, the super minion... You have to remember, super minions regenerate health. Right? So, he is standing there smacking super minion, getting into half HP, and then chasing you, like, all the way from here to here means that this super minion, when he comes back to fight him, is now full health, right? So it's just it's stupid, right? He can't do it. 
That's why those kind of scaling champions do not work that well in here, because um, you can just abuse the fact that they cannot defend their inhibitor that well. Alright. Now we just kind of attack. We, we repeat the same strategy, we just don't fight him and we slowly attack his infrastructure at this stage. And then that's it. You see now he's, that's it, like it's game over, he has no mana, basically. Game over, boys. Game over. Easy. Oh my god, he has those cool... ...thingies. There you go, take care. 